हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ई कॉमर्स प्रोजेक्ट इन लारावेल टेन लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस लाइक ऑर्डर्स एंड ऑर्डर डिटेल पेज वी कैन शो यर ऑर्डर वॉट एवर यू ऑर्डर देयर एंड आफ्टर वी डिस्कस मीन्स लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट दी ऑर्डर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन कंटिन्यू एडिट प्रोफाइल बिफोर वी कैन कंटिन्यू एडिट प्रोफाइल वी हैव वन इश्यू इन साइड अ चेकआउट टाइम सो वी आर चेकआउट सो इज नॉट वर्किंग लाइक अ टोटल वॉट एवर देयर यर सपोज आई एम गोइंग टू फर्स्ट ऑर्डर so you can see it here is a mix matching like here is a 18 here is a 16 but here by two quantity so here total amount 205 this is the error there so we need to solve in this video so it is very simple and very easy to solve before we can solve you are new in the channel or in the series so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so whatever content we are uploading so always get the notification and you can start immediately new thing learning and also do you want to buy script just go to our official website errorsolutioncode.com and you can buy it and do you want to develop as a freelancer or just contact telegram skype and whatsapp you can see it here and we can continue now about the solve the errors so first we can go to app http controller inside you can see it like a payment controller let's some zoom out and here you can scroll down so here you can see it like a price you can adding here also you can add quantity quantity so is working very well just scroll down scroll down check out payment so here is a going to payment you can see it so means here is a we are adding the order like a place order so problem about here like a sub total like total price so total price inside we have a direct cart price so before we need to go resources views inside a payment inside you can see card.blade.php and just scroll down so here you can find out like sum like a cart into cart quantity you can see it here so just same thing you need to copy in our side like you can copy these things and you can paste here okay so this is the issue has been solved so size amount and here also we need to add a like a okay so everything is good now no issue okay so you can see it here you can see it like a cart plus quantity let's go back again and refresh the page so we can check it's working not working so just go to back again refresh the page so here you can see it like a 1 on 10 here is a 100 so we can place the order test test because of here is a testing data we need to use privacy policy of the youtube so always need to write test test after whatever decision you can do it but i always suggest you can make test test okay and cash on delivery deluxe so you can price we can change and place order so order will be placed order. now i am going to admins and just go to orders so here you can see like 2 to 5 perfect just click on the details so here you can see it like a 120 here you can see 200 20 and after is a deluxe charge is like five dollars so it's working very well now no any issue before issue there this reason we were did the changes okay so let's continue edit profile just we have add like this into quantity no did we have not did anything else simple let's close this one also i can close this ones so just go back and we can work here so edit profile so resources app resources inside you can go to users inside you can see it like a edit profile so inside we need to remove all thing before we can remove we can check other pages same like uh, orders so we can understand so just leave it like tap content okay so just you can remove everything inside and let's go back again refresh the page so we have already their checkout page so just we need to copy paste here checkout page form so we can update easily profiles so just you can go to payment instead go to checkout.blade.php and here you can see it like all the forms like a billing information everything here there just copy all thing and you can paste inside just i just copy and i paste here now we don't need like a create an account and password just removing these things and let's go back again refresh the page so we can check it's working not working and we don't want to need like a billing address just you can remove let's go back again refresh the page 
so you can see it is working very well like a first name last name company name country street after is a down zip state zip code phone code and emails email always read only so we don't want to change so this email we can move to up like a first after name we can do it okay just you can put here email address let's refresh the page so you can see like here okay so everything is good like first name last name and email address company name country street apartment township post code and state and phone now we need to put here is a button like a update button otherwise save button but submit button whatever you can think your end we need to use so let's go back again and we can check which button is good so here is a checkout button already there like a place order otherwise check out process to check out whatever you want to like you can copy this one and you can paste here and here you can change we can use like one button just you can change submit okay let's go back again refresh the page here so you can see it submit it's very big button but we can make like size is a fix so this button is going to small like a width is equal to hundred px so it's good okay just you can use directly like this and you can put it here now we need a form so we can start the form and end the form just go back again and we can copy also form like here you can see and just put here form before start the tab so in action url is a blank we don't want to submit as a means we don't want to do anything else this is an action url is small because whatever url there we need to use this url this is the reasons okay so let's close the form here so let's remove the space also so look like a goods let's go back again refresh the page here suppose any error there so we can solve the error this reason we need to test again and again Not taking time so i think some error there impossible to error because of i i'm 100 sure error has been not more you can see it okay so now we need to open our database and database inside users column we need to add some column like a first name last name email address already there company name not there country not there so whatever not there we need to add and we need to show so before we can save so we need to create a one post method and then we can check what what column our side available so localhost php my admin and now we need to submit the form so before we can submit the form we need to create a one post method just go to routes inside web.php and here you can see it like a edit profile you can make it same route here you can change as a post method and after you can change here like a update profile okay now you can go to like user controller inside you need to create a new function update profile just go back again and here you can create a new function here i can make a request dollar request and here also i make dd all so you can understand which data we are getting here okay so first we have created the same route as a post method just we have changed here function like update profiles and here so whatever action url there this is the url we have used like a blank so here okay so let's here test test and we can check it's working not working because of the privacy policy of the youtube this is always i use test after your decision whatever do you want to like you can use it okay and i submit so you can see all the data here available means it is working very well you can see it here okay so let's go back again and we can open the ecommerce.com our uh, database so here our database there now we need to go to users and users inside whatever column missing we need to add suppose name email already there other all column missing means we have not added before so just we need to add like a after name other email let's make a name after we can do like another column as a last name because this is the we need same time this results where care 25 null okay so name already done last name also done and other thing we need to add like company names profile like this we need to add so after remember token after we can add like a 
10 column we can choose after whatever column there we can add like country address 1 address 2 city state and postcode next one is a phone now we can make where care all place so just you can change where care and 255 and after you can use null okay here you can do it where care and also you can change here null because of we don't want to generate the error suppose anybody can create a new account this time so it's a by default value he can choose a null this is the reasons and here also you can make null and here you can also make where care 255 after you click on the save button okay so let's go to structures and here you can see it all column add done now we can go back and we can update here profile so first we need to get the user data so simple users dollar user get single and here we can pass like our authentication id auth user id let's check inside uh, this function already available like get single and also here is already declared like a use auth so we have uh, no issue just we can go to like a users model users model inside is a get single available so it's available so we don't want to do anything else so it's working very well now we need to update so let's go back again like a place order payment controller and we can copy the code so we can take our time otherwise take much time better we can copy okay like this just i copy and i paste here after i can change here like a users like order to users whatever we don't want to upload just remove here so with email we don't want to upload because email always one and here is a name so we can change here name and also we are getting here like a first name so first name last name emails email we don't want to update this reason you can leave it and other thing we need to update so you can put here name okay i think it's already done now we need to write return redirect back with success profile successfully updated whatever message do you want to like you can do it your end profile successfully updated and here you can make like a semicolon okay let's save these files and just go back again press ctrl f5 and resend so whatever data there inside browser so automatic work this reasons otherwise no any reasons i think users model we have not declared this will generate the error so just you can declare here users model just copy paste and here you can change like a users okay just scroll down and go back again press ctrl f5 and click on the resend so it's working very well no any issue you can see it here let's go to browse and we can check data is available not available just go to backs so here you can see test 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 one two three so everything is available you can see it here okay so user same thing available admin same thing available because we have access both so now we need to show whatever data database inside we have add we need to show here so what we can do we need to put here is a get method means we need to pass here data so just you can use dollar data get user otherwise get record whatever do you want to like you can use let's use get records and this get records we need to show whatever database inside data there just need to show so just you can pass like value and here we can do it like a payment first name suppose here database column name there is a name so you can put here name same thing we can do it here let's first copy paste after i can change every place It's taking few seconds more few minutes okay now we need to change here like a phone so here is a postcode state city 
and now your address two here is address one country company name <coughs> email so email and here we can change the required to read only okay let's and we don't want to need here star so just remove the star now here you can put last name okay so it's done let's go back again refresh the page here so we can check all data available not available is available you can see here you can't change because it's a read only other thing you can change here now you are click on the submit button so we need to show here is a success message so just you can include our library so include like here is the where is the our message there so layout inside you can see it like a message so just you can make layout dot message okay because we have already read all the success message you can see it here warning primary secondary like all message payment errors everything here there our session so let's go back again refresh the page here sorry submit the page here so you can see it profiles successfully updated means it is working very well we have no issue okay so update profile is done in this video but we need to work is a another place like a, you are going to main cloth and we are going to check out like a here let's add a, some items inside a fashion inside is there so we can add is a cart inside some item okay add to cart and we can go to checkout so just now you can go to checkout so here you can see it here is all thing there first name last name so user need to fill again but here is the edit profile inside already filled so why he need to fill again so simple whatever data there inside a checkout means the edit profile inside we need to short out here so let's short out now just go to payments inside go to checkout and here we can use like authentication with condition like a value auth user name because the database column name is a name suppose I can go back again and if do like this so here you can find out name but suppose the user log out okay user log out and he can go into name to generate the error so we always need a condition so simple you can make like condition if is not empty this is the like shortcut condition but you can use directly like this so also possible so same thing we need to put every place like this like last name company name so just copy paste and after we can change the name same thing we did inside a edit profile okay now we need to change here also we can add so now we need to change like emails so here's the emails here is the phone so phones postcodes so postcodes states states and the next is the city city address 2 address 1 you can put it so it's a look like a good and user don't want to fill again like here we can change like country I think I would do two times so just need to remove one time so don't worry okay next one is a like company name and here we can do it last name okay let's go back again refresh the page here so you can see it all the data available like autofill let's log out and we can check is generate the error or not generate the errors so just go to test i log out now i'm going to again check out page so we need to check error there or not there so error not there you can see it conditional wise work this reason error is not there so this is the reason we need to put here the is not empty condition so i hope you have clear about the edit profile how it's work i will refresh the automatic logout because of i already log out so next video we can short out like a change password and after we can work is a home screen so but do you have any question inside edit profile so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please then do you want to see like this video more so please our channel subscribe error solution and thank you for watching error solutions